why we are here. Uh, it is it, it uh, also very important to, uh, to uh, test uh, the kit, and that's why we are here. Quality assurance. <laughs> so, I am Jan Szczotka, and I work as a, a principal quality assurance in a, um, a quality assurance uh, department in a Red Hat, and here is uh, Frankishek Lachman uh, working in, in a, a uh, Pekit team, team uh, as a developer. So, Pranta, please continue. So, let's start with our testing story. Uh, at first, we will cover why we do some testing system, then we will discover it and say some pros and cons, and then show some examples that you would know how it works in real. So, the motivation, how it started, uh, it started uh, when we need to uh, test our Ogre project, which aims to be a one Python li library, one Python API for multiple Git forges like GitHub, GitLab, and Pezure. You can uh, find the project in GitHub. And we need to uh, test the all calls we are doing to those services, and those calls are authenticated. So the testing such code is really hard and you need authenticate tokens and running those tests in CI, you need secrets. Uh, and also the time of the test that touches those services are really long. And we wanted some test, tests that are easy to write, easy to run and uh, are transparent to the, uh, to the original code base. So we created Recure, uh, which is something like Dictaphone or Recorder. Uh, <coughs> it stores val values of your uh, functions or some calls in a YAML file, and then when you run the test case once again, it replaces the results back, and you don't need to touch the real services. How it really works, when you have first run, uh, you will, uh, the code uh, the goes through the regular, which is the bottom, uh, and touches really the API. The API returns uh, some result, some code, uh, and we store it in a file and return as usual to the, to the code. When you run the test once again, it loads the result response from the file and return it. So you have a lot of YAML files in your Git repository and uh, when you run the uh, test in your CI, you, just, you don't need the secrets. So here is some basic workflow which I covered in the last uh, slide. So, there were also links to, uh, uh, to this important stuff, so yeah. if you are very interested, please look at it. So, why? Uh, what are the benefits? The tests are simple. Here you can see some counter example of, of the previous versions where we are using FlexMock, and we, have, we had a lot of these lines when you are mocking a lot of stuff, and you really don't know if you're just testing the same things that will run in the real. So we wanted to avoid this. So we, the tests with the recorder are really simple. It's good to mention that uh, the, uh, 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 the, the, the that example uh, shows that uh, the most important uh, line is that one. Yeah. This is the test. This is some uh, non-important stuff, just uh, uh, mocking the, the environment before. With Recure, you have only this line. Uh, so no, no direct mocking, and it's transparent <laughs> workflow. You, your code is not need to be changed. Okay? Uh, so reliability. It can be run also offline. Uh, Honza uh, likes to work uh, from his cottage, so it's useful to so you can run those uh, uh, run those tests from from your hotspot or where there is no internet. Uh, it's also stable. GDPs are uh, are too slow to uh, 
<laughs> so send my packets to uh, to the civilization. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, you don't need some excess storage, uh, and it gives you every time the same response, so you can test the uh, that you are writing a good code and good test, and it does not flake some GitHub state or when GitHub does not work or sometimes send you some different results. So it's really stable and it's secure. You have no tokens in the CI, so it cannot be leaked. Have you ever tried to uh, set up any CI, uh, uh, CI with uh, secure tokens? In, in some of them it's possible, but uh, our perspective is that it's very, very tricky and very, very hard to do it, do it working. And it's nice that if you can avoid that. So, some extensions. Uh, it can work transparently, as we said. Uh, possibly it can be also used uh, if, you, uh, if the real customer can uh, record the communication with the services and then give it to you, and you can test the, your code on these responses, and don't don't need to uh, connect, uh, have the customers tokens or something like that. Uh, we have also possibility to some post processing, so you can uh, make the response file smaller, or you can remove some headers that are not uh, that cannot be in the saved in Git, for example. So there are some security issues as well with the recurrent. And uh, since we are using YAML, you can watch the communication and see what really <coughs> happens. And it's my part. So some, uh, some negative aspects of, of the t testing, uh, what we also uh, met and fi find. Uh, so, um, it needs a lot uh, because we are not uh, directly uh, mocking our code or uh, direct services. But uh, for example, we are uh, storing requests, uh, which are a library of a, uh, in a uh, third uh, level of dependencies. Uh, uh, they sometimes happen that uh, if if something change in 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 these steps. Uh, uh, um, it means that uh, on everything these files uh, do, uh, does not have sense and have to be regen regenerated. Uh, but uh, uh, the, uh, um, or you can met also uh, that problem when you are you are testing RPM artifacts and, for example, uh, PyPy artifacts uh, because there there can be an. Uh, various versions of this code and uh, there are di uh, different uh, uh, different uh, 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 calls or uh, method what are called there or uh, it completely can change a API or something similar so so it also leads that you have re regenerated that code or what we also have that you have to generate generate more more response files for uh, uh, for each of these uh, these ways, it means that we have a file for a PyPy dependencies and, a, and and for a RPM dependencies, uh, uh, and 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 also uh, when you are, for example, um, uh, refactoring your code, uh, it also may lead to that uh, you have to re originate these files because. Uh, uh, when one function calls another one, these stack informations are stored in in in, in this uh, in 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 these storing files, and uh, when you change it vice versa, it 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 leads that it's unable to uh, match that uh, these the data are stored in this in this leaf. But uh, <laughs> when your code is stable, then you have uh, you have these troubles. So, yeah, there is also this pointer. It's, it's good, you know. Uh, okay. Uh, <clears throat> also, um, uh, as, uh, second con is uh, co complexity of libraries. You uh, sometimes it's very hard to understand what is the the best best candidate. Uh, what you should uh, use for re recording the functions. 
for example, uh, d did anybody try to uh, un understand how uh, how uh, works uh, request uh, to mo module in Python? Okay, one, uh, one agreed. Uh, that, uh, that, for example, in this re request at the module, every communication uh, goes uh, uh, over uh, 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 request session sent. So you have to, uh, for example, when you, your code uh, use, for example, uh, um, just just import uh, uh, from a. Uh, a request, for example, a post a method, it always goes to this session sense. So sometimes it's not easy to understand how these libraries works. But it's not so. It's not just just the trouble of our projects. It's also a problem when you are mocking or flex mocking your code. You 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 also have to understand. That, that, that underneath libraries, how they works. So, and sometimes it's problem when uh, there is, uh, uh, or when your fu function what you would like to store uh, uh, leads to some uh, very complex ob objects uh, and what is not uh, directly serial uh, serializable. You have to wrote your uh, your own class. What uh, uh, does that for you? Uh, I, I will show you it later. For uh, for example, for a sub process, it's, it's not possible to serialize serialize uh, that directly. So um, second problem, as French uh, uh, mentioned it it too. Uh, it may sometimes leak to uh, sensitive information. Uh, for example, in a GitHub, uh, when you are using uh, using application, uh, <coughs> uh, when you request uh, from your application access token uh, uh, to to be able to update uh, pull requests, uh, that authentication will be stored in in in, in this file. So, but this file uh, or this uh, token uh, works for the, uh, uh, a few minutes or something like that. Uh, so it, it's not so important, but in, it's good to uh, check these files and check if there is no passwords or tokens or something what uh, 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 seems uh, uh, that, that could be a security issue. Uh, we also provide tool what uh, automatically could remove this uh, this uh, uh, this uh, mm, this stuff uh, when you want. Uh, we have it uh, and, and as a part of uh, pre-commit for the project. Uh, uh, mm, second problem, uh, second problem with uh, storage files are that uh, they could be uh, they could be big. Uh, for example, uh, also in um, with, with, with GitHub, when you are uh, storing, uh, uh, for example, pull request information, and there is, for example, uh, lots of issues. It stores uh, uh, every, uh, every 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 command and every every code change and something like that. Uh, so these files uh, uh, could be uh, uh, at megabytes of the, Data, but uh, for our testing purpose, it's not not so big problem. And also, uh, uh, is a little bit mess uh, your uh, your Git uh, because uh, uh, these files could uh, contain timestamps and some one times uh, objects. Uh, uh, for example, from a Git, uh, uh, for a GitHub, so it also. Uh, Good to remove these time time timestamps and similar objects. It's also possible via our uh, command line tool. So and now uh, the funny part: examples. So uh, first one, uh, that, that that example is not a real life example. It's just the example how it works internally. Uh, that. Uh, 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 here uh, there is that uh, object storage. 
there are uh, there are some funny stuff what we would like to store and uh, uh, there, there is how it works internally that it stores uh, via these keys these values there are on, on the metadata but uh, it, it could be empty and it, uh, these lines just stores this um, metadata to the file uh, to that file um, and now you can see that I I am now here removing that uh, that uh, ob object storage, and now I am uh, restoring it uh, back from uh, from uh, 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 from that file. And now you can see there that output. Uh, it's it is uh, the, what the file um, contains. And now you can see that cat is Tom and mouse is Jerry, and and second one is Papi. Do you know Papi? Uh, Fairy tale for our children? Uh, no, okay, well, let's go. Continue. <laughs> That's a hard word. <laughs> okay. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the second, uh, it's, it, it, it's more useful, but uh, also please do not use it uh, di uh, directly li like that. Uh, uh, there is, uh, uh, or, or it, it is uh, main pr uh, purpose how, uh, how to use a recurve uh, via these decorators. You just use this decorator uh, with f function you would like to use uh, to uh, store, uh, so, uh, store store some values. So you will just decorate that, and and uh, and almost that's all. The, uh, the, 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 then you just uh, say please use this file, and uh, the, uh, there is automation that. Uh, then in it, it, it case that, that file does not exist, uh, it's, it's uh, set to a write mode and uh, it will write these files and in, in case that, that files exist, it, it will read, read the response from a files. And there is dumping to the file uh, if it is a, in write mode and so, and you can see that first round uh, shows, uh, shows also uh, um, the void contain, uh, contains in a in a file, and th there is the output. And second round uh, uh, shows that uh, or there is nothing, and the reason why there is uh, nothing that there is there is so clever that uh, after it reads the dead value, value, it's also removed that value. So in in case you will, uh, uh, it also check that in in, in case. Um, uh, uh, your co code change and would like to uh, read another value is not possible because uh, uh, there is not store uh, uh, there is not stored uh, 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 not stored uh, uh, next response so so it um, it also checks that uh, your core uh, code did not uh, do more than uh, that it should uh, so and there is example of Viva files. Uh, uh, our, our, our code in, in code is not uh, just focused to uh, record a requested module or some mm, some uh, some some gen generic stuff. What you are you are uh, you, you are creating uh, mm, uh, via uh, Python, but also, also possible. Uh, uh, we found that uh, that we need that uh, uh, that uh, we would like to uh, store or the content of a directory or file because we uh, we we try to mock uh, 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 Python uh, Python GitHub at module uh, uh, what uh, works via support says we were Git and uh, so we have. Uh, we have to implement in, into this project uh, uh, that it's able to to store store the store the um, store the files or contact directory. It stores to the tar, tar archive what is part of this storage file. Uh, the, uh, the, that is possible to use uh, uh, to uh, uh, to use more more modes. Uh, first is that it tries to guess which uh, which. Uh, which attribute, which attribute is a, a file or directory? It, it checks that after after uh, that uh, that function ends, it it tries to check that there in this attribute is uh, something what seems like a, 
uh, uh, file path. So and it's, it just used this decorator. And now you can see that uh, output is that it's first round, there is a uh, temp directory with body is created, and in, inside that is uh, created a file, this file, and in a second, uh, uh, second round you, you can see that uh, the, there is not called this input, uh, but it's, it's uh, uh, a completely uh, uh, or, or, or just replaced by, by that that, 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 that is created that new file in, 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 in this directory. So, <laughs> leave the time for, for the questions. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. We have enough time because uh, uh, we are uh, last present uh, present in here, so so we can continue. Uh, okay. So uh, and uh, now uh, now there is the uh, most important or how to say uh, that question uh, that uh, um, it's uh, there is an uh, example how. Uh, Request to module is 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 mocked or decorated by uh, by this decorator, and it's able to work. That in a first round you have to uh, put there your to GitHub token, and you will show your repositories. And in a second one, you, uh, you uh, and token is important, and it mm, it just works as you expect without any token. So and now we have a, a nice. Uh, Python import system upgrader that, that uh, with this syntax, and it's it's same as a as a previous um, <coughs> example, but it's it's uh, uh, it's a little bit uh, um, how to say uh, more structured because uh, uh, or it, um, you will see uh, see in, in a real life example, and it is that one. So now instead of Instead of this, this, uh, this, uh, this, you can see that the that the uh, testing is just this one, this code. Very simple, and just in in, a, in it you will uh, edit this this uh, well, replacing and uh, decorating the uh, functions you would like, and future. Future is ours. So, so please, uh, your uh, PR are very well, uh, welcome. We are using it uh, for testing our co our code, and for us, it's a per perfect project. But probably also uh, you need it uh, uh, to simplify your uh, integration and in in it was tests. So. And we need your help here. And uh, for example, if, if you are in, interested in, in a fuzzing, you, uh, we would like to add, add this to our projects, but uh, we have no uh, uh, no time to do that. So, so, so please add your uh, request. Uh, also, maybe you would like to ask if there exists an, uh, another similar project. Yes, there exists. We found it later, but. Um, we found it, but uh, th these projects are focused just, uh, just, uh, just to a uh, recording uh, <laughs> requests and HTTP co communication. Uh, but our project is uh, very generic; as is able to store an, uh, an, an anything what you want. And so, conclusion uh, at the end: simple, secure, stable, and super for you. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. And questions?